Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Emma. Today I'll be reacting to the Ancient Magus Bride Season 2, Episode 7. Now, it's the third video I've recorded today, and I'm feeling it. But I, I didn't want to hold off on this episode as much as I could have, you know. And let's just kind of hopefully jump right into this. Hopefully no tech issues. Tony Kawa had a few of them, so I'm, I'm hoping for the best here. But let's see in the count of three, two, one. Okay. Though, in the case of buffering, I do have a plan, like, right off the bat. But okay. Oh, is this little Philomela? Speaking with... Is it Brian? Kind of helping him find his way up. That you did, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, I was right. Oh. Look how... Oh, what's the proper word? But compared to now, like, healthy. It's not the word I want to use, but it's the word I'm going to use here. Because it's just the eyes. I'm, I'm one to talk, but <laughs> it's just there's clearly a difference between like something's big, like something big happened between their childhood and now, especially because we heard more about, you know, Lucy's family, the Webster, right? And so I there has to be just something all around connected to that leading to Philomela even being more, you know, secretive, kind of sneaking information where she can. Just sum things up. It's fishy, and I'll hold and maintain that. Sorry, I'm just enjoying it. Cause I, I don't know. I feel like I'm in for a bit more of a possibly tense episode. So I, I'm just letting myself enjoy the moment of peace. Because I think last episode, other than... Some of it? I don't know. Last episode had its moments. Uh, hello! Rock climbing here. Slow and sure. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. You see Philomela's doing a pretty good job, just... She's not... Yeah. <laughs> you guys gotta get moving. But no, Philomela doesn't have the safety net, which I think it's just because of, yeah, proficiency in climbing since childhood. I think that's what it is. I really want to know more. Oh, and Lucy's down. That had to have hurt a little bit. Hey, she cares. Yeah. Hey, yeah. 
That works. You know, a change of environment and scenery and like, you know, people sometimes does help you kind of broaden your horizon in a way. Mm hmm. Okay, thinking back to home. Hmm. That sucks. You can go back and forth on that one for a long time. Mm hmm. It's whatever you want to make of it. <laughs> he doesn't seem malicious. Oh, okay. You. Yeah, something's clearly there, but go, she say go. <laughs> I I rooted for you a little soon, but you you didn't. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, Jesus. In order. Why is she stuck on or? I, I got distracted by my fucking camera. But. I'm just gonna do that and hope it doesn't go in and out again. But what was that face? There's something there in her eyes, too. Hello, kitty. Mm hmm. We need your rest, too. I don't know quite where you're going. Oh, there's this. Yeah. What's this crow for? Bird, thing, demon. It's on a letter. Does it have something to... Oh, well, now you have a letter. You were called back to your house. Veronica. To console her tomorrow. So something literally straight up about her house is just god awful. Mm 
they are about gathering intel, so there could just be many things, especially in regards to the Webster situation. That ain't creepy. Grandmother. All those moths? I want to, they could be butterflies, but they look like moths. All of them have. Oh, shut the fuck up, you lifeless eyes. What? Oh, hello. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Just it's like Elias did earlier. He was like, oh, he did. No, he's not malicious. No malicious intent. Yeah, some of those are butterflies for sure. Just from the angle I saw, I got moth. Okay. Because she was going, maybe, like, her charity, like, she lets this happen? This sounds like a fucking awful lecture. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, you motherfucking! You absolute garbage! Oh, you... Uh, <laughs> That's an old lady. I should not wish any fucking minor slap to this elderly woman, but I fucking do. She's a, what, she's supposedly a sorceress? She can take it. She can take the, the, the whole fist to the face too, right? I'm sorry. That was absurd. And Alice, I get it. <laughs> well, how about something happened, but it's not your need to know.
Yeah, no, this sounds like genuine curiosity. Mm hmm. Nothing really ill will bind it. Oh, that was that was from your own doing. I see. Oh. I didn't need that visual. D yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that. Nice support. Yeah. Gonna say. I mean, I mean, true, true, but he's had it rough, so. That can be the case. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She'll fight back just as much. It does seem like that lately. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh no, 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 no. That's bad. Everything's dying. That has never been a sign of good. And we're at home egg. Oh, that sounds very bad, given the 
scene we just witnessed. Mm hmm Oh, okay. I'll turn dark. Eh, there we go. Oh, jeez. It'll be fine. No, no, no. Oh, you definitely have since then. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to go about it. Without a doubt. No. Elias, you're just there. All the time. To be fair, he'll want to go there. And then he would probably have already scouted a little bit, too. Oh, Lucy, are you okay? How, how much were you lifting? She seems so exhausted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, you know, gotta make use of resources, and if they stumble in, they stumble in. Now, what I'm worried about is these angles. Is it going to be Elias or something else? Something else. Thank you for answering that question. Wait. You're telling the episode's over? That was too fast. I I obviously couldn't read that. I need to wear my glasses again, guys. Don't worry, I know. I'll get on that one day. Um, but I thought I had time, but I guess I was misreading it majorly. The ending song's a bop, but... But what was staring at them? It had, like, this very purple eye... Fucked up creepy eye, and it, it, I don't know. And it's definitely got its eye on Chise because of what Philomela mentioned, probably. You know, at least to. I, I don't know what to classify. She, she gave a name. I, I just missed it. But, you know, it could be the person, that one looking into this situation further. It could be a completely outside source. It could be that fucked up old granny. Um, it could be a whole lot of things. That's gonna be fucking terrifying. I've decided I paused it for no reason. I'm just gonna leave it as is. Anyways. No, no, going through the episode. I, I got this. As much as I physically can. Okay. That, that was an emotion. I don't think... Well, okay. So, I'm just gonna talk about this firsthand because I, I, I genuinely got upset. 
And I don't know if it was just because this is something I never want to see anyone do. Uh, or if it's also just in general, I never want to see that happen to anyone. Plus, I just for some reason have a soft spot for Philomela. But that old hag. The coursing fucking anger I still feel. What I was especially feeling in that moment. That lady's lucky I wasn't there. Screw me probably dying, bitch. She's gonna get a few hits in. But. No. No, I don't. So, so this whole stuff with Philomela, she definitely seemed more outgoing, healthier, more cheery, just more like, you know, she still seemed like maybe she had some trouble, you know, interacting with others, maybe a little bit like, so, and, you know, anxiety here and there, but she definitely was, looked so much better back then. And then when we come in those, I'm a suppose like they're either maybe part of the fucking house, maybe they're servants. I don't know personally don't care when they speak like that they're nobodies to me but to be like oh daughter to the person who stole the successorship maybe or something like that I, I didn't go back but it's something like that so it sounds like maybe just maybe Philomela's mom did something and now it's being reflected onto the daughter the kid who technically I, I, I don't know what the system is but in my mind, the kid should not have any part of whatever the fuck the parent did. So it sounds like we have this dynamic here where the mom did something to anger the, the family, or at least, you know, the grandmother. And now the grandmother's treating the child like a piece of shit and like genuinely physically abusing and probably mentally, emotionally abusing. If, if you're physically, you're, you're at that point already mentally. So like... I, why? For what purpose? What do they need Philomela to do? What are these missions for? And to sit there and be like, oh, you just got lucky that uh, Veronica's charity got you to go into the college, because otherwise we would see you not fit and not send you there, because there's no point. So maybe, okay, maybe I'm, I'm going to give Veronica some some light here. I think I've been harsh on her since I saw her face. I'm sorry. Maybe it's PTSD from a bunch of different shows or things I've seen. But maybe, just maybe, she genuinely wanted to help Philomela out, whether it be because she knew her in the past or, you know, family or whatever. I don't know. But she, she wanted to help her. So she, like, was like, yeah, no, 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 let her come here and, like, maybe help me out. Or maybe I'll keep an eye on her, too, but just let her come. I don't know. Maybe Veronica is actually a good person here in this sense. She could be completely evil, in which I'll shout, I called it. Or she could be actually a nice person, just kind of going with the flow of whatever's kind of going on in the bureaucracy, whatever that word is, of the houses, like the different uh, places, the seven of them. Because I don't know. It, it just seems like this fucking grandmother's up to some shady business that maybe isn't just like with that house it could be connected to a few more because maybe there's like some sort of rebellion inciting I don't know but no I hope we get to fight the granny maybe the no no <laughs> Even if the granny's not trying to incite some war or do some shady shit, she literally fucking beat the shit out of her granddaughter's face for no fucking reason and literally was like, oh man, if only you, like, hey, you look pale as ever. And man, and I was gonna give you a gift today. No. You're, you're get eating shit whether you're gonna incite some type of, of, of in, chaos and madness. At this point, you're just adding points to your I'll see you later uh, list. You know what I mean? Like, there's a hate list that I have in my mind. And, and, and that, that granny has just put themselves on that list. I'm sorry, I got so sidetracked. I, gen I just can't. Unnecessary violence, especially when it's see so far from what, even if I don't have all the details, from what I can tell, it's unfounded as fuck. 
I'm going to be emotional about it. And I'm going to talk about it. And while this episode was trying to focus more, it brings us back into the stuff with Alice. And, you know, Rinfred, like, they're, they're both going through it and kind of having to work on it in their own way. And, and it's stated, you know, the more Rinfred pushes, Alice is going to fucking push back. Not not going to give up like that. And then we have Elias definitely looking after Chise more, kind of noticing how she's being a lot more expressive in different ways here in the school with all of these different students, you know, classmates, friends, and just kind of being a little bit upset because, you know, it's it's a process for him and he's still learning. So he's trying to figure it out as he goes. Um and I, I just, I love seeing Lucy opening up a little bit. She's definitely getting a little bit more comfortable. There's definitely probably going to be a point where something might trigger it again. But Lucy right now seems to really kind of be like falling for Chise's genuine kindness and just like innocence. Because she's, she doesn't, she doesn't seem to want to upset her. And I, I, I can appreciate about that. Uh, I can appreciate her for that a lot. And I'm just going to once again end this, I guess, with Philobella. Because that's how this episode started. And um, I say ended, but I will briefly mention. I, I don't know what that thing wants with Chise. And I'm assuming it's Chise. It could be Lucy, though, because we don't know the stuff about what happened to the family. So it could always be tied to Lucy as well. But I'm going to figure it's Chise right now. I'm concerned to see what it's for. Is it going to be trying to track her down? Is it just simply observing? Or is it something more menacing? But no, with Bellumella... I, it's still such a conflict because clearly now we've gotten shown that genuinely she seems to be under this type of order. Something is in charge of her. Definitely the head of her family. If that if that wench isn't the head, but she gets to smack her granddaughter in the face like that, I'm going to have to fight ten times worse. But no. She clearly has been made to this point where, you know, like, when she say was simply asking her a, a simple, like, request, because, you know, she just wanted to ask her something. And she was like, is that an order? Clearly that's something that's been engraved in her mind for at least a little while now. I, I don't think that's brand, brand new. Based off of Rian's, um memories of when they were younger and the climbing, I, I feel like that had to have been a change that happened probably not even that long after that memory even so i'm just so intrigued and so ready to punch something <laughs> i'm not violent i swear i i just i i guess after all those tony kawa episodes i just came in here not expecting this um need to pitch up the war the war flag you know what i mean but what do i know and I know there's probably other details and things I could be talking about. I, I just genuinely wanted to vent about that one because it's been a minute since something's upset me as much as uh, Ruby Volume 9 Episode 8. That one was upsetting in many ways, but that, that one did have a moment of anger, which is kind of what genuinely sat through here with me for a moment. And so it, it's what stuck with me the most. But... Let me know what you, what you guys thought about this episode, any episode, and genuinely, what do you think's going on here? Obviously, I don't want any spoilers, and you know, if you do want to go and have discussions like that with other people in the chat, just, you know, put spoiler and just make sure it doesn't pop up, like, instantly in front of people's faces, because, you know, it may be nice for you guys to communicate and, you know, for others to not accidentally spoil themselves by just a brief scroll. That, that People do it... That, <laughs> They make the mistake and you know, sometimes it's fine. Other times it's not. It's it's a 50-50. But I hope you have a great day or night. Whatever the heck you're watching this. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. It means a lot. I know once Ruby's over, my audience kind of dwindles. I, I see it. But I'm also like, hey, you know, it is what it is. And I'm just doing what I love. And I'm the same person either way, no matter what I'm watching. But yeah, I'll see you all on the flip side. Bye-bye-bye.